light modular animated trislator model 2AT. What is it? Well, you just heard a bit of what it can do and hopefully the sound of those oscillators reminded you of some of the classic synths from the 80s the roll-ins and sequentials and the um, chips being used on board are a pretty faithful recreation of the 3340. This is done by Alpha Systems. So it's the AS3340. And um, before we go more into what it is, let's talk a bit more about what it is not. It is not these. These are H-series uh, half-rack units. So we have a pull mixing filter and the delayed enveloper. We won't be talking about those in this video. That's for another one. It's this two HP section over here that we're gonna discuss. It is not E-Series compatible and it is not based upon pre-existing Buchla type products of yore. So all new, uh, but still quite the classic sound from a different format of synth coming much later than the 200 series. You got a lot in here in terms of what is available to the end user and the functionality. Um, and we're going to go and keep this as pretty much a technical review. There's a really good uh, audio review by a gentleman named Jens Paldum, I think his name is. He has a... Um, a bunch of sound samples of this on YouTube. I'll link to it below and you can listen to all kinds of different variations as to how this sounds. So this will be just an overview of how it works and technical in nature again. Um, it is broken down into four different sections. So the four sections of this or the major sections, I would say, get this paperwork out of the way. Four different sections. Um, you basically have the three oscillators as one section. You have a common control input, so you could send a CV, a pitch CV in here, and have it go buffered to each oscillator, and then have a master control. This master control is pretty straightforward to understand. You have a four octave range. You can see the blue LED light up as we increase the CV injected in and mixed in here. So it's four octaves. You can be right in the center and dive bomb, dive bomb two octaves or go up two octaves or tune everything like that and then go up four octaves, whatever you want to do. So four octave range knob. Uh, the, another section here is the mix out. So each oscillator is available on its own, but they are normaled to go to this mixer. And you'll see these little LEDs here, and you may have seen them flashing away in the audio demo at the beginning, and you'll see them in Jens's video as well. When you crank up an oscillator, you're actually going into diode clipping, and you can see these uh, LEDs glowing. And you also have that built into the mixer over here. So you have a drive control to drive. Well, I have nothing going. Let's see. Crank these guys up a little bit. You have a drive control. And then you have a level control so that you're not blasting things on the output. Pretty clever stuff. So lots of character in here with the built-in drive slash distortion overdrive that you can use. And then the next section is basically, I think this is the master stroke. As we know, every black banana jack is a CV input. And look at all this modulation possibility that you have all over the place. So why not? bring in modulator and this is a repackaging of the H series that Northern Light Modular already provides called the Electric Dompteur. It's basically a free running or as you can see here clock syncable LFO swarm. So you have eight outputs. They can be correlated or non-correlated or uncorrelated rather and each output has its own attenuator which is really very very handy and you can clock it and this becomes a divisor of the clock and uh, northern light i'll link to it below in the description they have their own video on the electric dom so if you want to get really into it what it does to five minute video that goes through the whole thing so i'm not going to go too deeply into it but you basically have a clock a divisor or you can have it just free run pretty simple to understand um, you have a phase offset so here they're all completely in phase with each other and then you can go up to 180 degrees out of phase. 
So we'll slow that down. You'll see this is at its peak when this is at its lowest. Um, and on the electric domptor, it's actually a circle, which they couldn't fit in here, so you can really see the, the correlations and phase uh, much easier there. You have different waveforms, which we'll take a quick look at um, in this video, because they don't do it in the northern light one. And you can either have phase offset or what they call spread. It's also easier to see in the other video with the, with the circle, with the ring. It really makes sense in terms of how it all lays out. Um, you have in spread a uh, especially if it's clock synced you'll have the master one or the one that's directly correlated to this and then you'll have divisions of it in spread especially once the clock is going but again you'll see that in the northern lights uh, modular video below it's easier to understand and, and to see in in the ring let's take a quick look at the waveforms available because they are cool so uh here we have the sign and as we sweep clockwise this is fully left as you can see as we sweep clockwise it's going to turn into a triangle it's a little glitch as the digital oscillator switches over which is kind of cool looking it's shaping it's shaping boom there's that little glitch on the corner you can see there on the top we move into the sawtooth or actually the ramp going up i guess depending on how you want to call it then we have the descending one the sawtooth as i call that then you have your square wave. Then we get into this crazy stuff that they put in. Oh, it's not syncing up anymore, but I guess that's still fine. So you get that wave. You get this other one that moves into random. Uh, you get this. <laughs> and then you get this one. And this is something modeled on, uh, Sasha at Northern Light told me, this is modeled on a source of uncertainty. And I think, and we had this conversation a long time ago, I could be wrong about this. Um, I think it's modeled on the source of uncertainty that had the digital noise generator uh, in it that gave you kind of a cyclical repeating uh, looping function. Um, but this is uh, modeled, I do know for sure, on a source of uncertainty, fluctuating random voltages, and I think it's the one with the digital noise chip. Uh, so that's that's the basics of what you get here. Okay, so that's the electrodompter. We're going to use this section to modulate things in a second. Um, let's get into the oscillator is a little more tech talk here on these um you have an eight octave range which is pretty amazing you have uh this octave switch which you can calibrate is this one i think it's just one of these two i forgot which one it is i'll note it up on the screen uh as to where the octaves occur and as you can see we can switch one two three four five six seven eight pretty crazy to have that much range um scaling is in here you have um, linear FM, which I really like, especially in the Buchla world. Um, you, so that's built into the actual 3340 chip. There's hard and soft sync, which you can blend from soft, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> There's hard and soft sync, which you can blend here to make it sync harder. And um, what else do you have? And then you have all the, um, buffered outputs and um, internal mixer per oscillator which is super cool so again we have our saw wave our triangle our square wave the square wave is pulsed with modulatable here and also uh, here as well um, on the input this one will also modulate the sub octave so here on the sub octave you have a octave down square two octave down square and two octave down pulse wave this is the level to bring that up. So you have um, CV inputs, or just do it manually for each of those waveforms, the subs, the triangle, the sawtooth, or the ramp rather, and the square. So all of those can be mixed. As you can see, we're gonna start overloading this channel as we smash it hard. And then you can pulse with modulate stuff like this too. Face cancellation fun. And then overdrive this one. More level, whatever. Pretty straightforward. So each oscillator has its own mixer, <laughs> mixing to this output, and then the whole unit has a mixer of all of these outputs here. Another cool thing is there's a, 
speaking of that kind of normaling, you have normaling on the FM inputs. So there are jumpers on the back to change this, but I have it currently set up where anything coming out of oscillator three is already normal here. You turn this up and it's already FMing. This one is going here and this guy's going here. So you can cross FM everything without having to patch anything just by turning these up. And if you want to get rid of that or change the normaling, it's on the back panel. I don't recall what the options are, though. I, I haven't looked at it in uh, many months, but uh, you can make some different changes. Um, other things of note, yes, individual CV ins. So you don't just have to use that. And you also have this purple jack here, which much like on a, a 261E or 259E and, and uh, the regular 259 from the past, you have a um, properly biased 0 to 10 volt waveform out here. This guy, you can change the wave shape with this little sh pot shaft here. You just need a, a standard small screwdriver. So let's take a look at those. We'll get rid of this. Patch this in here. This shows you the different waveforms available. They're not in the correct order though on, on the screen. So the way they actually appear is first you have the upward ramp. Then you have the triangle. Then you have the pulse uh, wave, which does respond to this pulse with modulation knob here. And then you have your standard square wave, which does not respond to this pulse with modulator here. All right, so you can see nothing there. But if I do switch over to our pulse wave, we do have pulse with modulation on there, which is super cool for doing what you would think being good Buchla people and understanding the format, these are just simply a shorting bar away. And so we can sync this to this. So why don't we take a listen to how that sounds. as one would expect. We're going to save that for last because it's coolest. So 
So what wave are we looking at here? I don't know if it'll show up. This is the one where you have the quick succession of three sine waves and then the flat liner. That around was at five volts. Remember this one? So that's sync. So let's take a listen to the FM. Uh, we've got it set up here where you, uh, we're going to listen to only oscillator one, so it doesn't matter what's going on here at the mix, because we're only wanting to listen to this guy. We have a rather loud sine wave here coming in. Um, beginning to clip the mixer, you can see a little distortion there going on on the oscope. And the way this works is you must turn up which one of these you want to be the modulator to this. So if you have it completely everything off, you get nothing as you turn up the FM. See? But if I turn up this triangle to the center detent, and as I turn this uh, FM input up, because it's normal, and watch what happens. You can get phase locking. Or continue past it. Or adjust it for very minor or very subtle, I would say. FM. And of course, because you have these jacks, they will act as your FM index. Oop, let's turn the FM back up. So you could hit these with an envelope, and in our case, we're just going to use a rising sawtooth there. And then you could tone this down, of course, because it has an attenuator. Or you could offset it a bit. So lots in the way of modulation options. Sine wave. Sending sawtooth. It's acting more as an envelope. Hit it harder. Let's get rid of that for now. We'll go back to this and now. We have, um, if we introduce uh, FM here, we're taking oscillator two and FMing oscillator three. We could do the same tricks with, you know, introducing some of the sawtooth. Introducing this envelope, fake envelope, as a descending ramp or sawtooth way, rather. And then, of course, you could sync things and have all kinds of chaos going on. So, this is now oscillating here, and then we could have all of this oscillator one, oscill uh, FMing oscillator two, which is in turn. FMing oscillator three. Possibilities just all patched throughout here. Or sync this one here. If 
fantastic noise toy. It does beautiful things as well, but you can <laughs> really get to some crazy stuff going on. FM with the arpeggiator. three master control sub oscillator one octave down square wave <laughs> 